Welcome everyone, back to Kenshi. Alright, so last episode we left off on Fish Isle, and I did a brief scout around. We checked out the secret lair, it has a bunch of dangerous skeletons at it. Um, what is this over here? A gurgler nest. Alright, let's go see what the, um, mm, do we want to go there first? I mean, we can see them from here. Uh, what are these things? <laughs> Fish man. Um... That's quite disturbing. A, a gurgler. It's quite tough, actually. It's got, uh... Actually, it's kind of weak. It's only got tw 20 dexterity. Most of his stats are 15-ish. Uh, normal gurgler, gurgler, gurgler. I guess, do they have, like, apex gurglers or higher tier burger gurgler? Burglar, burglar, wow. Alright, uh, no, they look pretty normal, I guess. Uh, well, other than the fact that they are very obviously fish people. Um, who probably want to eat me alive. Wait a minute. They're not fish people. What is this? Oh, that's kind of weird. Well, um, <laughs> now that we've seen those things, let's head into this fish aisle. Um, because that sounds fun. Hopefully it's an actual city and not hostile. It's already red, which means it's probably hostile, but I can hope. Uh, relation, it's owned by the faction of the fishmen. So, um, there's probably those gurgler things there as well. Yup, as predicted, um, there is indeed a gurgler here. Uh, so that means there's probably a few dozen in these buildings. There's a hospital here. Oh, what is this? An armory? Ooh, maybe we break into the armory. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at them all! Oh, wow, okay, dire lurk. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Gurgler, gurgler. There's loot here, it looks like. Oh no, it's like broken. Um, yeah, this is really weird. I, I don't like this place anymore. Um, <laughs> I want to go on now. I want to check out the armory first, but other than that, I don't. Th library gurgler. I mean, there's probably gurglers in there. Res, oh, residential gurgler. All right, let's break into this bunker and then we'll go check out this armory. Well, we broke into this bunker over here, and it doesn't seem to have anything here. Yeah, empty armor storage, empty that. That's quite boring. I was expecting there to be at least something here. But, uh, I guess you could actually hold up in here try and try and kill the gurglers from inside. Alright, let's sneak over to that armory now. Alright, I managed to sneak around them, thankfully. So let's check this out over here. It's gonna take a decent amount of time to break into it. It's quite a high-level lock. Pick failed. All right, we'll come back when he actually gets into it. Wait, they just spotted us. What? What is it doing? Oh, all right. Maybe we. <laughs> um, it's it's charging us. I guess I'll run away. I mean, it can't catch us. Well, maybe on second thought, we don't break into that armory. Let's go check out the Fortress of Dawn. All right, are you heading over there quickly? Good job. Alright, I'm at the Fortress of Dawn, and it looks like there's a bunch of stuff here. I mean, it's pretty big, as you can see. But I don't know if there's actually any loot or anything, because I'm holding Alt, so you can see inside the buildings. Well, you can see inside them always, but if you hold Alt, it'll show you any items laying on the ground. Yeah, this is completely empty. Um, can I get into this big building over here? I can, okay. Let's get into that building, see if there's anything there. Uh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a bit boring. Um, alright, Fish Isle, you know, you probably get like a 2 out of 10. Actually, no, I'll, g I'll give you a bit higher, because, you know, the, you have those cool fish people. Um, but, you know, it's not the friendliest environment. So, where do we want to head to next? Uh, honestly, the Ashlands are pretty cool, but I don't think they've modified them a whole lot. Maybe we explore... What's this place? Maybe, yeah, let's go check out this place over here, uh, directly above the hook. And how did the map just do that? Alright, let's run over here then. Well, I'm running along the bridge to get to the isle, to, to get to the mainland, and there's like a military base called the Lur. So, um... Wait, what is that? There's a statue. Emperor statue. The What? Is this owned by the Holy Nation, or is it, like, bait? It might be bait. Alright, let's keep running over then. Um, well, we'll see if I get crossbowed instantly. 
Defensive wall three tower. Um, okay. Ah, okay. No, they're actual people then. That's good. Uh, you still hear the screams? Yeah, that's pretty cool. The fish islanders. Any way I can help around here? Speak with Alistair at the militia's headquarters. Uh, what can you tell me about this region? The island south of the Bonefields has been completely overrun by fishmen. Gurglers, some call them. Refugees in Gale and the island's standing militia at Lur are all that's left of the inhabitants. Our situation is a bit hopeless. The noble in Katoon won't lift a finger to aid us. Alright, cool. Thanks for the heads up. You know, on second thought, maybe we should have talked to these guys first, but there's a smithy here. So I'll check to see what weapons they have before I head to the, uh, I think that's the, the eastern part of Kenshi, and we explore that. Alright, so I'm now on the border of the Hook, and I want to go check out this ruin before we head into this new area. Uh, which I don't know what it's called, and it is a bit laggy because it is rendering quite a bit. This doesn't look like a ruin. Um, it looks like an active pirate base. Oh, maybe- rats. <laughs> I'd have to disagree with you there. That is quite clearly not a rat, good sir. Uh, rat tamer. Uh, uh Rizzo's tower. You know- I'm, I'm just not in the mood to get mauled by a bunch of quote-unquote rats, yeah. Uh, no, we're, we're just gonna ignore that for now. Yeah, uh, let's continue on to, there's a new place up here, o Obos? Uh, Wobos? I, I don't know how to say that. So, I don't know, maybe we go there first. Let's cross the river first, though, because I want to see, kind of get a better scope of the land. Alright, this place is called Shun, and we just discovered an abandoned town over here. So let's head over there first. I thought there would be something cool over here, and I was right. It looks like we can get some easy loot from this place, as it is an abandoned town, so we can just kind of loot it freely. So I'll look around for a bit and let you guys know if I find something interesting. Alright, so it looks like this ruin is a bit of a bust. All I got out of it was a book and some copper, so I'll throw that into my backpack. And then we can continue on. I think we'll probably follow the coast. Uh, maybe not, actually. Let's head to, like, here. That looks like where our city might be. Alright, let's head over to this scenic tower. I found it on the map, so I decided to head over here. And, um, I don't know what would be in it. I mean, maybe it's just a cool tower that we can stand in and nobody will murder us for just a few seconds. You know, there won't be any of those big rat things. Hey, open the door. Thank you. Wait, what, what did that say? Ruin vein. Okay. Ruin vein. All right, let's see if there's anything in here. And surprise, surprise, there's nothing in this bottom level. So I'm going to guess there's going to be nothing up here as well. Other than a uh, 10,000 cat bounty vagrant. Um, you want to talk with me, I guess? Let's see what this man has. He probably has something of value. Hey, let's talk to you. There we go. Uh, don't talk to strangers. Uh, pretty gullet. Uh, okay, they want to kill us. Don't touch my gullet. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, they want to murder me. Uh, why am I not surprised? Alright, let's crossbow them. Yeah, get shot. Or miss. Shoot him. There you go. One damage! Okay, uh, let's, let's run back a bit. Alright, so I've been trying to do this guy. I tried to get into melee and he just destroyed us. I mean, seriously, he hit us twice and he nearly knocked us out. Alright, we're gonna have to remain at range to deal with this guy. I did hit his leg once with a crossbow. Wow, he, he is quite fast. How is he so fast? We run at 47 miles an hour. He runs at 31. Run, Gnu. Yeah, there we go. Don't even try to catch up. Well, that's unfortunate for him. He's getting eaten alive by a skin spider. Which is, um, very, very violent. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I don't like spiders, so, um, th th we're, we're just gonna go away from that. Alright, thankfully our helpful spiders took out the vagrant over here, so we're gonna just pick up this vagrant. Alright, there he is. He, he has some kind of powerful weapon. He's trying to fix his legs right now. Uh, we don't, we don't let him fix his legs. We steal his weapon and then beat him to death with it. Alright, so Mr. Cod is wanted by Aurora, the Sheck Kingdom, the Holy Nation, and the United Cities for 10,000 cats. I don't know what Aurora is, but um, I, I assume that's probably like the normal faction over here. So, let's go to Kikavivis. Oh, wow. Okay, be careful. 
<laughs> I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Watch out for the skin spiders. We just discovered Exodus while we were having to Cavavis. So I, I see a sort of a trend in their names. But I want to head over to Cavavis first. Just to get rid of this guy on our back. Also, Gnu got hit by a, a skin spider on his way over. And it nearly took off his arm. So they're quite powerful. Alright, it does look like this is an Aurora settlement. As this shopkeeper over here has the Aurora name, I guess. So, is this the... No, that's a barracks. I'm gonna go try and find a prison to turn this guy in. Alright, there we go. We are now 10,000 cats richer. Uh, let's explore this city for a bit. They have a storm house, uh, hydroponics, residential, residential, let me guess, residential? No, hydroponics. Yeah, uh, there's a travel gear shop, a bar. Alright, a bit of a boring town, actually. Wait, wait, what is this? Cave of this Archives. All right, maybe this this place isn't boring. We discovered an Auroran farm up here. That's kind of cool. All right, I want to check out these archives. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> um, let's talk to this guy and see what he's doing. Scholar Guild Librarian, how can I help? Oh, he literally just sells stuff. All right, Map of Shun, that, that might be helpful. Map of Fishman Island. Yeah, we definitely knew about that. Um... All right, the pacifier. Wow. Okay, that's pretty long. A bunch of blueprints and such. All right. Um, old treasure map. Reprogramming workshop. That sounds quite fun. Let's use all of this stuff and then check out our new locations on the map. It said that we had a few undiscovered locations on that fisherman island. Oh, we do. Two island three or two island hamlets and the academy. Hmm. I might go back there just to see what the academy is. Alright, what else is new in Shun, though? Oh, wow. Quite a bit, actually. Um, an Aedin Armory. Yeah, we're, we're heading there right now. Alright, guys. So, we're at the Aedin Armory. And, um... Yeah, well, I, I accidentally hit Alt while I was over here. And, um... You know what? I'll, I'll just hit Alt anyway. Yeah. Um... <laughs> there's kind of a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Unfortunately, that means there's quite a lot of enemies as well. In fact, that's why the game is still loading. It's simply building a massive amount of blood spiders. And, again, I really don't like spiders, and I like blood spiders. Yes, less? What? I, I need to fix my speech, but I don't like them a whole lot because they have very OP range skills when they're supposed to be melee characters. Um, and that's base game Kenshi, so I don't even know if... There's a modification added on to them. What is this? A barracks. Yeah, I don't think anybody's coming out of that barracks unless they are long dead. Eaten by alive by the friggin' blood spiders. So there is quite a bit of stuff here. I might actually come back later with a crossbow and just snipe all the blood spiders dead. But for now, there's no way we can take that on. So where do we want to head to next then? Uh, Shasa Fortress. That looks kind of cool. Ark done. Let's go there. But just for reference, um, if you wanted confirmation on the amount of blood spiders, yeah, um, <laughs> just a few, yeah, just a few guys, Grieve Wraith, that sounds safe. Right now we are nearing the outskirts of Arkton, as you can see, um, well, let's go check it out, we might as well. I'm expecting, honestly, just a normal city, most of the cities seem pretty normal, um, I can't. Is there any way I can, like, turn upwards and get up there? No, not really. Alright, I'll let you know when we're in there. And it turns out I was facing the wrong way. So, let's head into Arkton. Um, let's see what we're looking at here. It looks like a fairly normal city. What is that? Lab number two. Type ancient lab. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, what kind of walls are these? Wall B. No faction. That's kind of concerning. Yeah, so, um... I was panning over here to check it out, and, um, yeah, no, 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 bad decisions, bad dis- bad decisions, uh, come over to this wall, how many of those things are there? I mean, they're swarming out of the entrance, oh my, what? What? Oh, my game doesn't like this, <laughs> um... 
Yeah. No, thank you. No, I'm I'm done with Shun. It's it's just not fun anymore. Um. Yeah, yeah. We're we're done with the Shun. We're not we're not going back into Shun. All right, let's go into this fun area over here then. Seriously though, the one place I go to, you know, is completely infested with spiders, and I really don't like spiders. Um, I, I almost have a phobia of them. So, um, it's, oh, wait, oh, wonderful. We're heading into a place called Iraq. <laughs> I was about to say I had arachnophobia. Guess what? There's probably going to be a lot more spiders here. Well, look at that. We have a nice outpost. I bet it's not going to be infested with spiders, right? You're going to be nice to me, game? I hope. Please? All right, we're almost up to the outpost. Oh, no. What is that? Bugmaster, I've heard of you before. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of him before, but uh, you guys will see what he's all about in a, just a few seconds. But suffice it to say, um, Arrakin does indeed contain a bunch of spiders. All right, let's head up this building then. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, some very nice spiders. Um, do I really even want to bother? Hmm... Hmm, I know there's a lot of them inside. Alright, if I can get inside just briefly and pause it, I'll do that. But we're not actually going to go fully inside, because we'll be dead if we do that. Alright, so as you can see, on this first level, we got a bunch of these very nice skin spiders. And if we go upwards, you know, wait, it's empty? Well, anyway, here's the bug master guy. He's a spider, as you can see. Um, He's a bit powerful, just a little bit. 91 attack, 103 defense. Yep, just just a little bit. Um, and if we go upstairs, there's a few more spiders as well. Um, generally, I haven't loaded out all the spiders in yet, but um, pretty much when you walk in here and start fighting him, he starts spawning spiders. So um, w w we're leaving. No, thank you. I I don't do big, mean spiders. On the plus side, I did discover an unknown object. So let's head to there instead of. Watch out for the skin spiders. Be very careful. Honestly, this place is really quite nice, other than the fact that there's, there's a bunch of, you know, giant man-eating spiders here. By the way, the uh, the spiders can go underwater. A bunch of them are crawling underneath me right now. Uh, as you can see, very faintly here. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm very scared. Alright, I'm now at the unknown object, and it looks like a... Like a sunken lab, which it probably is a sunken lab, um, an ancient citadel. That sounds quite fun. Maybe there's no spiders in this one. Um, you're quite skilled there, can you? Teleporting through structures. <laughs> um, please don't be any spiders in this. I've had enough spiders for today. But, uh, it, uh, it, I, we can't get in. <laughs> um, yes, I, what is that red mass? Wait, 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 what, what is that red, I hope that's just the ground, or, it's either the ground or about a massive horde of blood spiders, either way, Gnu is probably dead if he goes down there, so, uh, hey, Gnu, you wanna head down there? Oh, well, it looks like we can't get in. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just a fallen tower, that's quite boring. All right. Um, where do we head to then? I guess we can start heading down to the bottom right over here. But I think we will wrap up for today. I've had enough spiders for um a very long time. But today, I'm pretty happy with today's progress. We finished exploring the fish aisle. We checked out this miss the shun part, which was kind of cool, but um, yeah, too many spiders for me. And what was? Oh yeah, this place was called a rack. And we saw the bl the bug master's throne. We checked out this fallen tower. Overall, a pretty successful episode. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.